Hi everyone, welcome to my first live stream Facebook yoga class. I hope you can all see me. Um, please give me feedback so that I can put, tweak it in different directions. If you have any injuries, I will talk you through the injuries as well. So please be very aware and go into the postures really slowly and try and go into the postures as you exhale. There's always less risk of injury if you go into a stretch as you exhale. If this is your very first class, just take it really slowly. If you're sitting in any comfortable seated position, this is called Sukhasana. Put the spine as straight as possible and try and take the top of your head towards the ceiling. Now relax your jaw. And I suggest you close your eyes. It shuts off a huge part of your brain. It's just for a little while. It's still the brain. And to try and breathe into the lower lung and not your chest. Try and establish a nice even rhythm to the breath. Now relax your shoulders, relax your legs, just keeping the length in the spine by pushing the small of the back forward. Connect fully with your breath and try and shut all thoughts out of your mind. Keep the shoulders relaxed and establish that nice even rhythm to the breath. The magic is in how you breathe. As you exhale, drop your chin to your chest, keeping the back straight. Take your shoulders back, do the stretch in the back of the neck. And as you exhale, slide your elbows to your knees, chin tucked in. Keep the belly pulled in. As you inhale, slide your wrists to your knees, straighten out your back, lift up your chin. And drop your right ear to your right shoulder, allow the head to hang heavy, keep the shoulders relaxed. Watch the rhythm of the breath. Keep breathing into the belly. Allow the head to hang heavy. As you inhale, straighten out your neck. And as you exhale, drop it to the other side. Allow the head to hang heavy. Inhalation back to the center as you exhale, drop your chin to your chest. Lift up your chin and we're going to start with a sun salutation. If you know it, just do it in your own time. You can do any style of sun salutation. It's just a warm up of the body. If you don't know it, follow me. I'll do the first round really slowly. So standing to the top of the mat, facing the sun, wherever the sun might be. We don't worship the sun, we revere the sun for its life and qualities. Bring the feet to touch. As you inhale, take your arms above your head, palms touching. Only if you're making your back a healthy, arch your back, lift your thumbs. Bring your thumbs to the middle of your chest. Now exhale into your forward bend. Shift your weight to your toes. Tuck in your chin. Big step back with your right leg. Drop onto your knee, hips down, chin up. Step back with your left foot into high plank. Be the caterpillar, drop onto your knees. Forward nose, chin, chest between your hands, push through into cobra, tuck in your toes, exhale into down dog, working the heels down, step forward with your right foot, drop onto your left knee, hips down, chin up, step your feet together, hold the forward bend, chin tucked in, breathe in, coming up, palms touching, arch your back, lift your hands. As you exhale into a forward bend, this time the left leg goes back, big step, drop onto your knee, Right to left, high plank. Drop onto your knees, do the caterpillar. Forward nose, chin, chest, push through into cobra. Tuck in your toes. Exhale into down dog. Step forward with your left leg. Drop onto your knees, hips down, chin up. Step the feet together, hold the forward bend. Breathe in, coming up, arms up above your head. If your back is healthy, arch your back. Bring your thumbs to the middle of your chest. That's one round. And again, breathing in a little bit faster and breathing out. Right leg, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Right leg, breathe in. Breathe out. <clears throat> breathe in. Breathe out. Left leg, breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Left leg, breathe 
in. Right leg, breathe out. Breathe in, coming up, arch your back. Arms to the middle of your chest. Nice deep breath in. Swallow it up, reach for the back of the legs. Tuck in your chin. Feel your chest to your thighs. Feel it spreading at the back of the knees. Suck in the belly. Bend your knees, place your hands on the mat, step your feet to the back of the mat and lift your hips and pedal the legs. Push down into the heels. Now draw the shoulder blades together. Put the sitting bones to the ceiling. Inhale into up dog, flip over onto the tops of the feet, keep your legs off the mat. Try to push your chest through your arms. Exhale into down dog. Step forward with your right foot. Turn your back heel in. Breathe in, coming up. Hopefully facing knee. Exhale and fold. Up with your chest to your thighs, suck in the belly. Try and keep your weight to the front of the foot. Walk both hands over to your left foot, float the left arm up. Walk both hands over to the right. Let the right arm up. Try and keep your weight to the front of the foot. Try and pull your chest to your thighs. Bring your hands under your shoulders, straighten your arms and look up. Now get your fingertips in line with the tips of your toes. Push into the heel of the hands, straighten your arms, lift your chin. Take your palms off the floor, bending the fingers back. Come on to the tips of the fingers, bend the fingers back, keep the weight to the front of the foot. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly come up. Arms up above your head. Turn so that your right leg is in the front. Exhale and fold. And keep your arms next to your ears, breathe in, coming up, reach to the ceiling, turn, face in the opposite direction, square your hips, exhale and fold, sucking in the belly, tuck in the chin, try and keep the hips level. Three-legged down dog, turn the back foot so the toes point to the front. Take the left leg towards the ceiling, keeping the pelvis level, bring the shoulder blades together. Lift the leg, lift the leg, drop the hip. And swap legs. 
Good. Just supporting the heel down. Keep the pelvis level by dropping the hip but lifting the ankle. Drumming the shoulder blades together. Chin tucked right in. Both feet on the floor, work the heels down, step the feet hip distance apart. We're going to swing the right leg forward. Breathe in, coming up, keeping the knee bent. Take it into the warrior, two. And swap sides and Rupert Ross in a two, a warrior two. Push your knee slightly back, go bent knee, don't let it collapse in. Reach into the fingertips, keep the belly tight. Turn over your shoulder, keep breathing. Breathe in, coming up, turn your toes out, heels in, toes of the light. Put the pubic bone forward, suck in the belly, pull the knees in. Try and keep the spine straight, don't lean forward. Push into the heel of the hands. Now try pushing the knees back. Drop the hips, drop the hips. Pull the knees in again. Breathe in, coming up, straighten out your feet. So the toes point to the front, interlace your fingers behind your back. Bring the shoulder blades together. Try and take the shoulder tips back. Wait for the exhalation and fold, putting your hands over your head to feel the chin. If you have the capacity, press the heel of the hands together. Breathe in, coming up to Kanasana, triangle pose. Turn your right foot to point directly away from you. Lift your left heel, push it out, square your hips, bring your arms up in line with the shoulders. Extend into the fingertips. As you exhale, reach across the room, keeping your shoulder above your shin bone. Stack the shoulder blades, turn the head to look to the palm of the raised hand. Keep that top shoulder back. Breathe in, coming up, change your feet, square your hips, exhale, step the shoulders, step the arms, turn the head to look to the palm of the raised hand, try and take the top shoulder back. Turn your head to look down at your foot, one hand on either side of your foot, and step your feet to the middle of the mat. So 
straighten the legs. Walk your hands towards your feet. Now reach for your right ankle with your right hand. Balance on the left fingertips and take the left leg to the ceiling. Going down into a squat. If you've got a knee problem, please don't squat. Just hold it in a forward bend. Pull the knee down into your chest. Both feet on the floor. Come down into a squat. Bring the hands into prayer, lengthening in the spine. Your fingertips on the floor, lift your hips, let the heels down. Now hold the left ankle with your left hand, balancing on your right fingertips. Take the right leg up, lift the hip, pull the leg to the ceiling, pull your chest to your thighs, try and do the splits. Keeping the supporting leg straight, bring the feet together, round out your back, straighten your legs and very slowly, slowly, slowly roll up, lifting your chin at the last minute, bring your arms up above your head, as you exhale, bend the knees and bring your thumbs to the middle of your chest, let's cut asana, the warrior, yes pose. Slide those shoulder blades down your back. Keep the heels glued to the mat. Breathe in coming up. As you exhale, float the arms down. Now step your feet hip distance apart. Take it into the chair, breathing in. And breathing out, shift your weight to your heels, bend your knees, reach into the fingertips. See if you can lift your toes, it forces you onto your heels. Drop the hips, drop the hips. Drop your hands to the mat. Now lift your hips in a forward bend. Try and straighten the legs. Keeping your feet hip distance apart. Walk both hands to the outside of your left foot. Hold onto your leg or your ankle. And float the left arm up and bring your right cheek to your left kneecap. And shift your weight to your toes. Swap sides, going into the stretch as you exhale. Left cheek to the right kneecap. Turn your head to look down at your feet. Fingertips on the mat, gently come down into a squat so you can get the heels down, get the heels down. If your heels are stiff like mine, just bring your hands behind you and then see if you can drop the heels. Keeping your toes tucked in, drop your knees to the mat. Please don't do this if you've got a knee issue. Bring your hands behind you and drop your head back.
and release. Come on to the tops of the feet. Straight legs if you've got a knee issue. Bring your knees together. Feel a lengthening in the spine. Wait for the exhalation and twist to the left. Try and stack the shoulders. Turn the head all the way. And release, take it over to the other side, wait for the exhalation and then twist. And release. If you've got a neck issue, please don't put pressure on your head, holding your heels. Tuck in the chin, get the top of your head on the mat. It's called the head. Now pull on the heels, put pressure on the top of the head. Keep pulling on the head. And release, take your feet out from under you, straighten out your legs, give your legs a little shake, flex into the heels, nice deep breath in, and exhale, so in the belly to protect your lower back, if you can get your hands on the soles of the feet, go for it, drop the head, relax your jaw. And extend your hands beyond your feet, reach to the ceiling, float your arms down, push your feet at your ankles, bend your knees, pull your feet towards your perineum, nice deep breath in, exhale and fold, drop the head, reach the fingertips forward. As you exhale, walk over to the left, taking your head and your torso past your left knee. You can put your right hand on top of the left. Breathe into that open rib cage. In the exhalation, walk over to the other side. Put your left hand on top of the right, try and drop your chest, nice deep full breaths, use the breath to stretch those ribs apart. Inhalation, bring it back to the center, keep the fingers forward, try and drop the chest, relax your jaw. On the inhalation, drag your hands towards you, straighten out your legs, bring your hands into prayer, feel a lengthening in the spine. As you exhale, slowly round out the back, take both legs to the ceiling. Put your legs in a wide V, interlace your fingers, pass your arms to your legs, lift your head, lift your shoulders, pull the legs down, flexing into the heels, make big circles with the ankles, keep reaching forward, tuck the chin right, make your ankle circles the other way around, keep reaching forward. Flex into the heels, pull the legs down. Reaching forward. Interlace your fingers, 
behind your head, close your legs, point into the toes, drop the legs 45 degrees, now squeeze the toe mounts together, push your elbow tips to the ceiling, pull the rib cage down, suck in the belly, Flat bottom boat, extending your arms, reach into the fingertips, keep pressing your spine hard into the mat, keep squeezing the toe mounds. Bring your knees into your chest, rest your head on the mat, give your knees a tight hug. And release, place your feet on the mat, we're going into the bridge, feet and knees at distance and lift your hips. Squeeze your glutes, keep the length in the back of the neck, lift the pelvic floor. Wiggle those shoulder blades closer together, chin down towards your chest, squeeze your glutes, suck in that belly. And release. Straighten your legs back up to the ceiling. So you can lift your hips just two centimeters off the floor. Lower the hips, bend your knees, place your feet back on the mat. Interlace your fingers behind your head. And as you exhale, lift the upper body, push your elbow tips to the ceiling. Extend your legs. Now if you have a back problem, Take the legs straight up. If your back is healthy, let the legs hover just above the floor. And release into corpse pose. Turn your palms to the ceiling, wiggle the shoulder blades closer together. As you exhale, press your waist hard towards the mat, tilt your pubic bone to the ceiling and squeeze your glutes, suck in the belly. And release. Exhale, scoop and squeeze, spine presses into the mat, squeeze your glutes, relax your shoulders, relax your legs. Don't pull up the kneecaps and release two more. Spine to mat, navel to spine, tilt that pubic bone, keep the legs relaxed, jaw relaxed. Keep squeezing the glutes and release. Last one, exhale. Hold the well, you make a well with the abdominal area, so suck it in, pressing the spine hard into the mat in the waist area. And release, bring your knees into your chest, give your knees a tight hug, feel a stretch in the lower back, keeping your knees bent, both feet back on the mat, part your feet a little wider than your hips, and lift the hips, now pull the knees in, and squeeze your glutes, lift the hips, lift the hips, relax your shoulders, keep pulling the knees in. As you exhale, lower the hips, bring your feet to touch, knees touching, and drop the knees out, bring your soles of the feet together, bring your arms up above your head, interlace the fingers, turn the palms away from you, try and straighten the arms, chin down towards your chest, try and push into the index finger, relax your legs, your back should be slightly arched. Interlace your fingers behind your head, lift your upper body, lift your feet. Squeeze the soles of the feet together, push your elbow tips to the ceiling. Exhale, 
Extend the legs at a 45 degree angle. Now separate the toes, we'll squeeze the heels together. Pointing into the toes, pull the ribcage down, suck in the belly, pushing your waist into the mat, elbow tips to the ceiling. Squeeze those heels. And release. Bring your knees into your chest, both feet back on the floor and take it back up into the bridge, lifting your hips. Chin to your chest, squeeze your glutes, lift the pelvic floor. Relax your shoulders, chin down towards your chest. I extend just the left leg to the ceiling, pushing down onto the right foot, lift the hips. Pull the left leg towards your head. Hips up, swap legs, flexing into the heel, pull the leg towards your head, relax your shoulders, lift the hips, lift the hips. Both feet back on the floor, lift the hips, squeeze your glutes, relax your jaw, keep the length in the back of the neck, suck in the belly, squeeze those glutes. As you exhale, slowly lower the spine one vertebra at a time and bring both knees into your chest. Give your knees a tight hug. Now keep your left knee into your chest, straighten your right leg to the ceiling. Drop the right leg down as we come up into sitting. Drop the left knee, pull the foot across, bring the right foot to the outside of the knee. Left arm around the right knee, exhale and twist. Pull the knee into the chest, turn the head, turn the shoulders. And release over to the other side. Wait for the exhalation and then go into the twist. Make sure both sitting bones stay glued to the mat. Turn the head and the shoulders, pull the knee into the chest. And release. Turn to face the front, sit to the back of the mat and part your legs in a wide V. Lift the torso, gently push it forward. Be aware of the inner thigh, your hip joint and your lower back. Nice deep breath in and exhale, palms facing down. Try and get your chest to the floor, pull up the kneecaps, flex into the heels. With every exhalation, try and creep your fingers forward a little more. And release, walk your hands back towards you, bring the soles of the feet together, the heels close to the perineum, hold onto your toes, lengthen in the spine, bounce the knees up and down, lean slightly forward, chin up. Now push the knees down, bring your elbows in front of your shin bones, round out your back, tuck in the chin, try and press your elbows into the mat.
And release into the shoelace, mirror image. Bring your left leg so that your knee is in the center line of the body. Take your right leg across. Try and stack the knees. Use the heat of the hands to gently bring the knees closer together. Both sitting bones stay glued to the mat. Your feet sticking out like little ears. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Palms facing down. Try and get your chin over your knee. Now the one hip is inclined to lift. Push it down. And release over to the other side, going into the stretch as you exhale. Try and stack the knees first. Both sitting bones glued to the mat. Work with the breath, breathing in and breathing out. Now that one sitting bone is inclined to lift, push it down. Take the fingers forward, try and get your chin over your knee. And release, untangle your legs, straighten out your legs, give them a little shake, get a lengthening in the spine, bring your hands behind you, you might need to come onto your fingertips and lengthen in the spine, bring your shoulder blades together, flex into the heels, if your neck is healthy, drop the head back. And release, sitting with your legs crossed, bring the arms into cactus branches, bring the shoulder blades together. Try and get your elbows in line with the shoulders. Squeeze our shoulder blades together. Straighten out the arms, pull the arms back, flex it into the wrists. Keep squeezing the shoulder blades together. Bring the hands into prayer behind your back, sliding your little fingers up your spine, up the spine. Take the elbows back, your neck is healthy, drop the head back. Take the shoulder tips back. And release, interlace your fingers in front of you, round out your back, turn your palms away from you. Keep the belly pulled in. Take your palms to the ceiling, push the small of the back forward, look straight ahead. Now push into the index fingers. Relax your jaw, try and slow your breath. And release. Swing your legs over to the side. Give your legs a little shake. Nice deep breath in. As you exhale, round out the spine, challenge your core. Pull your knees into your chest, give your knees a tight tight. Extend your left leg along the mat, your right leg to the ceiling. If your neck isn't a problem, bring your forehead to your knee. Flex into the heels. Swap legs, and into the stretch as you exhale, don't forget to flex 
seem to be the eels up in that chunk. choice for the next one. You can either do it being prone, reaching forward, or upside down. Throw your legs over your head, part your legs, and pass your arms through your legs. Interlace your fingers except for the index finger. Supporting your hips, gently come out of it, bring your knees into your chest, rest your head on the mat, give your knees a tight, tight draw, stretching the lower back, keeping your knees bent, both feet on the mat, feet touching, knees touching, bring your arms out to the sides, palms facing down, now glue the knees together, glue the ankles together and drop both knees to the right and turn your head to the left. Coming up, knees to the left, head to the right. And release. Knees into your chest, wrap your elbows around your knees and press the knees into the chest. And slow the breath. And you can either go into corpse pose here with your legs slightly parted, toes turned out, arms to the ceiling and just relax. Or I'm going to finish with something quite vigorous to get the heart rate up. So we're going into a squat, lift your feet. Work the feet down, turn your toes out, heels in, bring your fingertips in front of you. Breathing in as you lift and breathing out as you lower. Now we're going for 21. When you finish 21, you lie flat on your back in corpse pose. Keep those heels lifted throughout. Lift the heels, lift the heels. Lift the hips. Let the heels down, straighten out your feet, reach for the back of the legs and gently pull your chest to your thighs. We're going into corpse pose, come down into a squat, take your feet out, part your legs, roll down, turn your palms to the ceiling. The shoulder blades closer together and down your back, your chin down towards your chest, relax your fingers, relax your toes, breathe into the belly.
ready, gently roll over onto your right side and rest your head on your arm. Use your hand to gently push away from the floor, extend your leg, come up into sitting, any comfortable seated position, feel a lengthening in the spine, bring the fingers into the chin mudra, push the small of the back forward, relax your jaw, and slow your breath and still your mind. Thank you very much for joining me. Have a fabulous day. And please don't forget to drink lots of water without the gym. And the most important posture of all is the corner of your mouth to your eyes. Have an awesome day. Bye.